Hey guys, my name is Nikki and I want to welcome you here to Carrie Grace. All right, so for the month of March, we are going through Fly Ladies Zone 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This week we are in Zone 3. So if you're familiar with the Fly Lady Zone Cleaning, your house is broken up into five zones. Zone 3 is your main bathroom of your home, like the one that your guests use. If you have like upstairs or downstairs, it would be the one probably downstairs that everybody kind of uses, your guests use. And then we're also going to do an extra room. This extra room can be a kid's bedroom. It can be an office. It can be a laundry room. It can, it can be whatever you want it to be. But you're gonna do your main bathroom and then also another room. Now, once you have kind of gotten into the Fly Lady system and kind of tweak things and make things work for you, which I definitely encourage you to do, you may find that you divide your zones up a little different. Now, typically my zone three is actually all of my bathrooms. We have three bathrooms and I find that for me, it's usually easier to do the extra zone cleaning or deep cleaning. I find that for me, it's easier to do all of the bathrooms at one time because I am using all of the same products, the same tools, cleaning things to get things done. And I'm kind of already in that, you know, vein in my head of what I need to be doing. So that is how I typically do it in my house. But for the purpose of this video, I am going to do it the Fly Lady way. I'm going to do one bathroom, which is our main bathroom, and also another room, which for me today, I'm going to be doing my son's room. A couple of things though, before we jump into it, I used to feel like that all of the rooms, like I've got two kids rooms, we have a laundry room, we have an office. I used to believe that if I didn't hit those every single month that I was kind of failing myself, failing my house. But I've realized that the longer I do this system, you know, like one month I may hit one kid's room, another month I may hit the laundry room and so on and so forth. Just kind of as you go through the zones, you're still doing these enough through the year as long as you're being consistent. So I do want to just kind of throw that out there. I used to be a little bit of an overachiever when it came to zone cleaning and felt like I needed to hit all the things. So I just wanna encourage you, start slow, start where you're at, keep your list, go through your list, and just keep moving forward. You'll eventually come back around to another room and it will work. If you're new to the Fly Lady system and just starting out and your home has not been decluttered, I highly encourage you and recommend you to start with 15 minutes of decluttering first. Spend 15 minutes in whatever zone you're in for the day, declutter. Once that has been done, then you can move on to the zone cleaning, which is your deep cleaning. I also want to encourage you to go to the Fly Lady's website and check out her detailed list. She has a detailed list for each zone. And what you will do is you will start at the top of the list and just work your way through. You're probably not going to accomplish every single task in every single zone each month. That's okay. This is where your control journal comes in or just a list that you keep in your planner, however you keep up with it, but you do want to keep up with it somehow. And you're just going to kind of go through, check them off. And then the next month when you're back in that zone, you'll just kind of pick things up where you left off. All right, now I do want to kind of give you a little bit of a disclaimer. I kind of do the Fly Lady system kind of the Nikki way. Um, I've been doing this for a little bit now and I kind of have adapted it to fit my cleaning style, my home, and kind of how I do things. I still highly believe in her system, but I think it's okay to tweak things and make them work really great for you. All right, so I've had several of you ask me, what do I do or how do you do it when you've had a really crazy week, you haven't had time to zone clean every day, do you use your time on the weekend? And my answer to that is, it really just varies. This week is going to kind of be a good week for me to show you kind of what I do. This week is one of those weeks where we had a lot of stuff going on and I had to prioritize some other things. All right, so when I've had a crazy week and zone cleaning didn't make it to the top of my priority list, I still want to accomplish some things in that zone, if at all possible. Now, if it's one of those things where you've had sick kids, sick family, whatever going on and other things are more important, just skip it completely. No big deal. Once you come back around the next month that are in that zone, make sure you hit some things. But this particular week, like I said, was crazy for us, but I kind of 
once I realized that I was not going to be able to prioritize some things through the week, I decided that I was going to take a little bit of time and just hit some things that were super important. Y'all, I didn't even time myself this time. It didn't take a lot of time. It probably took me maybe 30 minutes to do everything that you're going to see in this video, but they are things in the zone that I knew that I really wanted to tackle because they were things that I was kind of starting to see. Like I was starting to see dust on the ceiling. I was starting to see a thing in the bathtub that really needed to be cleaned. So for me, it was important to just set aside those 30 minutes and just pick the most important things. So that's kind of how I do it. Hopefully that'll kind of give you an idea how you can adapt it on those weeks when zone cleaning just didn't make it to the top of your list. All right, so let's jump into zone three. I am downstairs in our main bathroom and the first thing I'm going to tackle is this shower curtain liner. I noticed that it's got some mildew built up on it so I'm going to take this down. I'm also going to grab the rugs in this bathroom and I'm going to take them all to the washing machine. I'm going to throw them in with a little bit of bleach and that will take care of the mildew on the shower curtain and I'm going to get these things washed so that they are ready. All right so this is a pumice stone or and I have a, like, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's like a kind of a ring that builds up in the bottom of this tub. And the only thing to clean it is a pumice stone. And I do have these linked in my Amazon storefront down below if it's something that you're interested in. But you can see it just takes a few minutes. My bathrooms, though, they stay pretty clean because I do a daily swish and swipe. Sometimes it's every other day, but doing that keeps things very clean. So I'm just working on the things that need to be done on occasion. So now I just grabbed my dusting rag and I am just going to wipe the blinds down. These tend to get pretty dusty. I think it's because of the toilet paper roll right there. So I just wiped those down and now I'm just going to kind of give a quick wipe down to the cabinets in here. I am that person that used to think that if I don't have time to set aside to do everything for 15 minutes every single day, or if I don't have hours to spend getting things done all at one time, then it's not worth doing. Y'all, that is simply not the case. Progress over perfection is definitely the way to go. Just taking a few minutes here and there, or like on this particular day, I spent about 30 minutes and I got a lot of stuff done and it really ended up just not being that big of a deal. But had I just left this and decided that I couldn't do it because I didn't have a lot of time, the dirt would have continued to build up and then it would have been hard to do the next time that I got back around to doing it. So just give yourself some grace and just use your minutes when you can. All right, so now I am moving on to the bedroom. This is my son's room, and yes, I am dusting the ceiling. I don't know what it is about this room, but it gets super dusty, and there are dust bunnies that collect on the ceiling. It's the craziest thing. I don't know if you can tell how much dust is on this ceiling fan, but I pretty much have to do this ceiling fan every single month and it builds up really, really fast. So this is one of those things that it was visible. I knew that it wouldn't take me long to do it. So I knew that I really wanted to take the time to just go ahead and tackle this dust. You can see right here that I collected quite a bit of dust. I'm going to just take this outside real quick and shake it out so that I'm not transferring that. And then I'm going to keep more moving. Now, I do want to mention this blue wand. I get questions about this in just about every single video. I do have it linked now down below in my Amazon storefront so that hopefully you can find it. I believe this one is from the brand Mr. Clean. I purchased it years and years ago. It seems like I got it at Big Lots for like $5. So if you have a Big Lots, I highly suggest checking it out to see if you can find one because again, it was only five bucks. The one on in my Amazon store is the same brand, but it is more expensive. So if you can't find the other one, then maybe go ahead and get that one. I know that other brands make these. I believe the Fly Lady has one very similar in her store. I know that eCloth makes one, so just find one. But they're very handy for dusting corners and ceiling fans and dust 
uh, baseboards and all the things. All right, so right here, I'm moving this stool, and y'all, my kids have an empty water bottle down here. Now, this is not trash. This is something that they are collecting, and they hid it from me because they knew if I saw an empty water bottle, I would throw it away. But they've been playing with them outside, so they've been collecting them and apparently hiding them. So I just went ahead and put it back. Now that I have dealt with all of the dust bunnies up high and down low, I grabbed some other cleaning rags. These are my e-cloth rags that I like to use to clean mirrors and windows. I am wiping this mirror down. It had lots of fingerprints on it. And then I'm also going to get a different rag here in just a minute. And I am going to use it to do a very thorough dust on all the furniture in here. Now weekly, during my weekly home blessing, I come in here with that little blue wand and I give everything just a quick dust. But during my zone cleaning, I like to pick everything up off the nightstands and the dressers and the desk and all the things. I like to pick everything up and give it a really nice wipe down. And so that's what I'm going to go around the room and do right now. Ideally, you're going to do your zone cleaning 15 minutes each day. If you want a good example of that, make sure you watch my video from last week where I shared zone 2. That was an ideal week for me where I was able to take the time to do that daily. But again, you guys, sometimes our weeks don't go that way and we have to kind of improvise and do things. Those are the weeks where it's just okay to remind yourself, hey, let me just do what I can and let that be good enough. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new to my channel and not already subscribed, please consider subscribing and I will see you guys next week for Zone 4.